move over for emergency vehicles or face getting pulled over. Stepped up enforcement of the state's move over law begins tomorrow. This, of course, comes after Trooper Cody Donahue was hit and killed by a passing semi on I-25. Liz Gillardi joins us now live along the interstate where police will be cracking down. Liz? Shannon, police say too many people are speeding by them and failing to move over. Beginning tomorrow, bright and early, they will be stopping up enforcement here along I-25 because it is not only the law, it could save a life. When you look at this smashed up patrol car, it's incredible. The officer inside wasn't hurt. I wasn't even uh, aware that um, there's a vehicle um, coming behind me at that speed. Pulled over on the side of I-25 on a traffic stop. Just barely. I had uh, just stepped back into the car. A car slammed into Officer Austin Spears cruiser, traveling about 70 miles per hour. It caught me completely off guard. The driver apparently too busy looking at a cell phone and not following the law, requiring everyone to merge when an emergency vehicle is pulled over. It can end in tragedy. Trooper Cody Donahue killed on I-25 less than a week ago. There are occasions where uh, they'll be coming really close at high speeds. This picture shows Aurora police clocking someone doing 93 miles per hour, flying by an officer on the side of the road. Drivers we talk to see it all the time. Um, especially in rush hour traffic, it's hard. I don't think the drivers in the other lanes yield over for the other cars to come over. And police say if you absolutely cannot move over, at least slow down. Five different agencies are taking part in this. The enforcement not only happening on I-25, but patrol officers will also be doing this just on regular streets as well. Reporting live tonight, Liz Gillardi, Denver 7. Liz, thank you for that.